Stress isn't just perceived, but it is actually biologically and chemically making changes in our body because the sympathetic nervous system is responsible for. I can help you out. I can help you out. I can help you out. Hello and welcome back to the second video in the stress series. If we haven't met yet, my name is Madison Don't and I educate young women on how to understand and listen to their bodies so that they can heal naturally. Today we're going to talk about how stress can cause disease in all body systems. If you haven't watched my last video on cortisol, then I will pop a link up on the screen now. But basically when our body experiences stress, we go into a state of fight or flight. Now you may have heard of this one and it's actually when the sympathetic nervous system activates because we perceive a threat. Now back in the day that used to be running away from predators, but these days our stresses are not not quite the same. So we might be worried about money, we might be worried about an exam, or we might just be stressed out about other negative things that come in our lives. The sympathetic nervous system is responsible for increasing our heart rate, shutting off our digestive system, increasing our breathing, and a whole bunch of other body functions that would help us in the case of having to fight or flight. So let's start with the digestive system. So as I just mentioned, when you are running away from something that is trying to kill you, your body doesn't really think that you need the ability to digest food. So what happens is that the increased cortisol levels that are brought on by the stress end up shutting down your digestive system. Now this slows down your metabolism and can actually cause obesity or diabetes because the sympathetic nervous system also stores fat. Now it thinks that if you're running away from something that's trying to kill you, say that you happen to find a spot to hide, you may not be able to come out until it's safe for maybe a couple of days. So you may not be able to hunt for food and therefore if you store fat, then you'll have a better chance of survival. By the digestive system being down, that means that you can't properly absorb the necessary nutrients and this ends up showing up on your skin, causing you to break out and even develop acne. Not getting the right macromolecules such as proteins, fats and carbohydrates also means that they cannot be broken down and recycled in order to make up the cells and other things that your body needs to function properly. Continual stress can also cause a number of cardiac problems, so problems with the heart because the sympathetic nervous system increases the blood flow in order to get the oxygen to the muscles in order for that fight or flight response. This increased blood pressure can also lead to stroke, heart disease, and many others. Another thing that you might suffer if you are in a constant state of stress is also chronic fatigue. So not only is your body exhausted from being in a constant fight or flight mode, but you're not getting the right nutrients in order to fuel your body and create that energy. So you also experience fatigue because of that reason. The last one I'm going to mention is insomnia. So when you are running away from something that's trying to kill you, you probably don't want to stop and take a nap. So when you are in a constant state of stress and you are constantly in that fight or flight mode, you do not want to sleep and therefore you get insomnia. Now, if you don't sleep, then you your cortisol levels do not reduce and therefore you remain in that constant fight or flight sympathetic state and the issue just keeps on making itself worse. One way to reduce this sympathetic state of fight or flight is to take some really slow deep breaths and also to try out yoga and meditation. I'm going to do a whole separate video on some other methods to reduce this state of stress and all of the negative health implications that come because of it. So you will have to wait around for that one. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to like it below, subscribe, and also share it with any friends or family who are constantly in a state of stress as it may be affecting their health. My next video will be on the link between stress and anxiety, so make sure that you look out for that one. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. I can help you out. I can help you out. I can